Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to replace a laptop keyboard. Uh, mine is a Dell laptop. And this particular keyboard will work for a lot of their different models. The reason I'm replacing this keyboard is because over time I've been having a lot of issues with the keys working and a lot of times you have to smack it harder or you'll hit something and it won't register. Um, I think what happened is just over time things have gotten you know stuck down inside the keyboard and yes there are ways to take these keys apart and clean them out and whatnot but really these these uh, keyboards they're so cheap uh, I think I bought this for 11 bucks so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up show you guys what it looks like I ordered this off of eBay This is the replacement keyboard. It comes like this and it's just a very thin little piece. I'm going to set this aside but I'm looking at it. It's, it's exactly the same. So I'm going to get busy uh, popping out this old one. And the way you do that is there's little, if you look at your keyboard, I'm using a little flathead screwdriver. They probably make better tools for this, but this is what I'm using. And if you go around, you'll notice that there's little tabs. There's one here, 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 and here. Now to get this keyboard out, you just have to slowly work work around this, and uh, you know. It, as you pop it out, it'll, 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 one will like loosen it up a little bit. You just gotta work around, you know, slowly work it out. Then the keyboard will lift out, and there'll just be a cable connection. Uh, some things you may want to do before working on this is disconnecting power and pulling out the battery if, if, uh, you know, if you're worried about getting electrocuted or whatever. Me personally, I'm not too worried about it, so I'm, gonna, I'm leaving mine plugged in, but. You know, anytime you're doing repairs, you may want to you may want to disconnect power. Just something to think about. But I'm not going to. So, all right, let's get started. I'm going to start up here, and you just got to give it a pop. Work on the next one. Just push in. You got to kind of work in that tab. Kind of hear it make noise. I move it. You just gotta work it around. Oh, got the, oh, almost got that one out. Trying to get underneath this. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, there it goes. I had to work at it a while, it's kind of a pain, now I'm just going to slip my finger around. This one's still holding on right here, so there's a tab i got to get. Got that one out. This one's still holding. So, that's all out. Now it's just a matter of pulling this out. you got to grab it right here, kind of give it a wiggle, pull off the tabs. Now it's ready to come out. As you can see, flip that over like probably like this and there's a little bitty tab here yeah. it looks like it's just uh, it looks like this it's just taped in let me try to pop this up Looks like this should pop up, but I'm not sure that it does. Let me just work it up. Kinda. Yep, that popped up. This little black tab just popped up. 
I gotta work the tab out. And it's out. To put it back in, you use the new one, slip it in. But actually I, I I'm looking in here and I I see I got a lot of bits and pieces in here. I'm gonna go get a vacuum and I'm gonna clean this out real quick. I got little uh little chunks and stuff in here. I'm gonna this is probably not the right tool to use to clean one of these, but it's what I got, so that's what I'm gonna use. I can see chunky stuff. bit of stuff in there I got out. Okay. Normally when you're working with this kind of stuff you probably should be wearing a uh, one of those ESD cables that you wrap around your hand to protect anything from electrostatic discharge but you know, that's up to you. I'm, I'm not really doing that so I don't care. Anyway, this should fit in here like this. So and this says up. It says up on this part. It's pretty obvious though, I mean if you I feel like it's long enough. Yeah, I think I got it in there. I just had to no. Now this piece should go in. Instead of pushing it, I'm just gonna kinda you just kinda push it to the side a little bit. It to fit back in. Clear off this. Uh, there's a some tape here. Get that out of there. And you're putting it in. You just kind of. I'm trying to like push it back and get it underneath there. I think it's in. Oh, this one's not in. There it is. Okay. All these should snap in. I think I'm done. It looks a lot better. This here is my old keyboard and the one I just took out. And I kind of want to show you up close what I was dealing with. Just in case uh, 
you guys couldn't exactly see it from where my tripod was holding the camera but basically basically you have uh, you have these tabs right here that part slips under the keyboard and then you lay this thing flat and when you do there's little tabs right here these are the tabs I was picking at um, here's one here there's a part on the computer that when you push this thing down it snaps onto it there's one there one there let me show you from this side you can see it better there's like a yeah yeah right here there's a tab that when you push this down it snaps over this and that's what actually holds this down and there's you know there's two on each side and there's five up top here they're all the same this is what I was picking at and you have to release all these tabs in order to, to get this thing to once you once you release all the tabs this will lift up like this and you can get your fingers kind of behind it or something like a credit card or something and hold it and once you release them all you just kind of wiggle it back and forth and and you're gonna pry out these tabs and you can lift it up once you lift it up this little cable right here is what is attached and when you pull it out you're looking at it like it's still attached but essentially you'll be looking at it and it'll be plugged in like this it says up and it's just a ribbon cable but there's a little lever a little black lever that you have to pry open it's like a hinge little snap thing once you pop that open you can pull the cable out then when you put in the new cable the new on the new com new keyboard it you just stick it in the slot where it's even then you lock that thing down and it locks over this that's all it is it's kind of a pain because this thing's not very long and you're kind of uh, you don't have a lot of room to work with it so it's kind of a kind of a pain but it can be done but uh, anyway just trying to give you guys a closer up view of how this works okay well that's it